Welcome to our video reflection for today, Sunday, June 11, 2023. We are in the second Sunday after Pentecost. And our prayers continue for those who are sick, especially Amber Kerala, Therese Gamish, and David McPherson. As well for those in need, people facing wildfires across Canada. I will continue prayers for those who are mourning the victim of wars and natural disaster, as well for those who are celebrating birthday this week, Betty Morgan and Therese Gamage. Congratulations. The Gospel of today is taken from St. Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 to 26. It's about Jesus show compassion for two women. And here we will work in three elements. The first is the daughter of Jairus, the second uh, adult woman, and the third an act of faith. Let us start with the daughter of Jairus. Here we can identify a girl, but no name. But we can identify a prominent public figure the father of this girl. Jairus was a leader at the synagogue, head of the local Sanhedrin of Capernaum. But here, his daughter of 12 years old was dying. Jairus is a Hebrew name which means whom God enlightened, and that was real in this episode. A desperate father looking for a miracle. Jairus near before Jesus, a big scandal for a prominent Pharisee, but he took the risk and the consequences. The 12 year old can be even secondary, but why? Because Jairus' role was involved with power and the establishment. The daughter is the mobile to expose her father on the stage. Here we find a key word, hand, as Jairus was asking, if you only lay your hand on my daughter. We are commissioned to lay our hands to anoint, to heal, to bless with the authority and the power of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus left the example to us, and Jesus did the miracle, taking the girl's hands. The second element is an adult woman. Scholars say that her name was Berenice or Veronica, but is not in the Gospel. Theologian are discussing about this hemorrhage, which in the patriarchal system had a heavy stigma with impurity or unclean status. The woman took the risk to touch a man in public. She crossed the line, took the risk to be exposed, like Jesus, who kneeled before like Jairus, sorry, who kneeled before Jesus. Twelve years of hemorrhage and stopped only by touching with faith Jesus' cloak. Great symbolism for all of us. A woman alone due her illness and marginalized because of the social stigma, but now healed and liberated. Are you ready to take the initiative to touch? Do not hesitate because aligning your hand or touching with hands, my hands God, restore our lives. And the third element, faith. The young and the adult woman represent all of us, not only women, but all of us. The lesson is to take the initiative. 
kneeling before Jesus or touching by faith the cloak of Jesus. We are tactile people. And in this context, Jesus used an expression, Talita Kumi, an Aramaic word for maiden, arise, a legitimation to women in a patriarchal system. Talita Kumi, words pronounced by Jesus at the resurrection of the young girl, the daughter of Jairus. And for the other women, Jesus say, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. In conclusion, we are the people who kneel before Jesus. We are the people invited to exercise the power of faith. We are invited to touch with faith and prayer. Good work for God work at any age and in any stage of our lives. Amen. Have a blessed day and a wonderful week. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye.